Hello guys, I'm back in front of a camera. Yay! So, back to more pandemic talk. I am Dustin DeHusky and my hair is just growing longer and longer by the second. Next video is just, just gonna be Wookie. There we go. Or Bigfoot. Actually, no. Hopefully next time I'll get Bigfoot on board with this show of a corner and cabinet and whatnot so you know what who knows i can't promise and i can't promise anything it's 2020 there's not much to expect with this year so pandemic talk let's talk about this loss of a year i was listening to npr recently I like npr just to put in the background learn a little bit here and there I learn about the world you learn about your country, your state, it's a good time. And um, you know what? 2020 is the canceled year, which may not be the only year that it gets canceled, but so far as what we know, 2020 canceled year. And I know a lot of people who, like I, wanted to go out to places. Me, it would be conventions, taking time off to go to conventions. That had to get canceled, put off towards the side, and then even had to redistribute my vacations in a way that I never do before. When I have vacation time, a little bit of a spin-off of what I will talk about. Totally forgot about it. I was going to talk about initially. You know what? Beer will help. Nope, didn't help. So initially... With vacation time, what I always tend to do is I only use vacation time when I'm going out of state, far away, looking to get away, be free. That'd be to conventions, so I'm only reserving my vacation time solely for conventioning only. This is the first year I've ever had vacation days where I actually used it on just me, just recharging the batteries by myself on my own doing other things it's a nice change of pace been doing it for years only using my vacation days for fur cons i don't use it for anything else if i want to go up north to wasaki you know what screw it i'm not taking personal time off i'm not taking vacation time off i'm just gonna go there right after work get there friday stay stay all day saturday because you may as well because it's only three hours away you may as well make the time as much time as you want, because you know what? Hey, if you're only staying there for a day, you're really driving a lot. And then you stay all much of Sunday, and then before it gets really too dark, you make your way back home, you stop to get food, or whatever painful slop that you end up finding on the side of the road, and then you eat that, then you go back home, and then you pass out, and then you scramble to get to work the next day. So, Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to talk about. See, it took me a while. I had a stall. Home improvement. This year has been a record-breaking year uh, with Home Depot, Menards, Ace Hardware, True Value, Blair's, Farm and Fleet, any place that sells home maintenance supplies, building materials, whatnot. Duct tape. Put a duct tape to your wall. You just improved your house. Somehow, you just did. And you know what? It's been told that all of these places that I've mentioned can't keep things in stock at all. Like, long. It would take about a good week before whatever shipment they do get gets sold out, and they take a little longer to replenish the next time. Which means people... Which is probably not a bad thing, because you know what? When you do a lot of vacationing, you get out and you go somewhere, you don't have enough time to focus on yourself, focus on what's around you. You focus on really on, on yourself, but away from your everyday self, all this. So I dress up as a dog. Yeah, that's my way of changing, or uh, charging the batteries. But... You may have home projects that you've been made and pushing away. Oh, you know what? I'll do it next month. Or, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it next year. And then next year happens. And like, ah, you know what? Nah, it's not this year. I'll do it next year. 
And then 2020 happens, and then now you do all the home projects that you ever wanted to do. Now you have no damn excuse, because you know what? 2021 might be the same damn year. So you're doing a lot of painting, you're swearing, you're tripping, you're dumping paint all over, but you know what? You're getting a breezeway painted. And you're doing pretty good. You're repairing a garage door. I had to repair my garage door twice this year. So, yeah. Um, you do something. You do something productive. And record-breaking sales for home maintenance supplies. Uh, the number of people who are doing home maintenance has jumped up double than last year. I forget what the percentage was, but the number of people who own a home that normally would do some kind of home improvement, home maintenance, repairs, whatever, doubled this year in terms of intensity. So, or it could not even be a home. It could be personal projects, something that's not a home, but something else that you want to do. Maybe that's hobbies. Maybe I'll talk about that in another episode. So... You live in a home, or even a rented apart a rented apartment. All apartments are rented. This needs more beer. Mm. Yeah, rented apartments because you can buy an apartment. Yeah, or actually, condo or townhouse. Now that that's technically renting, but kind of. I guess it depends on the property, depends on the building. I guess mileage may vary. So really, if you've been looking to do some maintenance around the house or even in the yard that you've always wanted to do but never had the time, this is the perfect you to do whatever you want. Ah, oh, you want to find the rubber ducky in your sump pump, but you always were too lazy to grab it? Now is your chance to do it. Because you got nothing else better to do. And if you're working after work, crack open a nice cold beer, roll your sleeves up, and grab that duck. Yeah. You're gonna grab <laughs> You're gonna grab ducks all day. Um I find it amazing. This past weekend, I ended up painting my whole breezeway. And the last time this breezeway has been painted was at least a good 12, 14 years. And you know what? I absolutely love painting a room. I gotta tell you, I'm a pretty mechanical person. I enjoy anything that is mechanical. If it's broken, I like to understand how, how it works, to understand why it broke, to understand how I can fix it. And mess it up even more. And then really call my dad and then get called an idiot and then watch him swear as he fucks it up more <laughs> uh, home repairs with me and my dad are amazing because there's so much swearing involved but amazing it gets done at the end of the day if you got stuff that you want to do this is the perfect year to do it i enjoy painting yeah it's messy yeah it takes a lot of prep work yeah, you got to clear up an entire room. Oh, God, it's a lot of work. But you buy rollers, your paint trays, paint liners, uh, or paint tray liners, because that actually really makes things easier to clean. If you know where your brushes are, grab them. Or brushes are crusty. Throw them out. Buy new brushes. And then keep those for another 10 years, because uh, I swear, some of these brushes that we used this past weekend are as old as I am, which is amazing. Why did I use a 25-year-old brush? Because you can save a few pennies. But there's nothing, there's nothing that feels better than Being in a room that's freshly painted, getting high off the fumes, you feel great because you are great and high while looking at a magnificently painted room. See, that feels great. 2020 is a boring year, but now I feel pretty happy that I got something done that's going to last another 12, 
15, 20 years before it needs to get painted again, because I don't expect to keep painting this room over and over and over again. But as far as the foreseeable future, I can see in my crystal ball of Hoosk, I'm never painting that room again. <laughs> but yeah, you own a house or you live in a house, you want to do something about it. You want to do something fun. Look into a Home Depot, Menards, or Ace. Check what they have. Check what you can probably improve on what your house or room could use. Trick out your place. Fix it up because nothing, nothing feels better than to improve something what already somewhat works because... Yeah, crumbling paint's one thing, but when you can scrape it, paint it, make it look great, then you feel awesome about yourself, and then you ignore it for another five years, because then it's paint. It's wall. It's wall on paint. It's paint on wall. Yeah. I'd recommend doing house maintenance in the next year. Gives you something to do. So, we'll catch you next time.